Hey guys, Glenn Darden, GlennDarden.com, and of course, the House of Biceps. All right, I've got a two-part question. Knowing me, I'll turn it into about 12 different segments here. A two-part question that came in about deadlifts and strongmen. Part one is, Clint, why do strongmen wear straps when they deadlift? And part dos, which straps do you prefer? All right, guys, the, the truth, uh, my opinion, when it comes to strong men and, and deadlift, and I've got this from several different promoters at the top levels as well as uh, the bottom levels of strong men. A lot of strong men promoters don't allow deadlift suits, but they will allow the athlete to wear straps. Uh, so we get into this debate online about, is that cheating? Why not allow suits? Powerlifters get to use suits. Why do strong men get to use straps and not suits? Why not the other way around? Why not just see how much the lifter can really lift? Okay, so right off the bat, why does a, a strong man get to wear straps but not a suit? One of the big things, if you are running a show, you don't want to deal with the athlete going through all the struggle of putting on a deadlift suit. Um, you don't want to have the issue of next competitor up, Clint Darden. And then everyone turns to Clint Darden. He's like, hold on just one second. And he's trying to get his straps in, in the right position. No, 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 it's not this way. Roll this, okay, roll your shoulder. Can you reach the bar? No, no, a little bit less, a little bit less. Take, take a belly full of air. And then he walks to you know, the, the deadlift bar. Uh, and then he has to get down to the bar somehow. Maybe it takes a friend to help him get down to the bar because he's got a strap in. Meanwhile, you spent three minutes uh, or more on one athlete, one athlete doing one event that takes about 60 seconds time. Uh, you may think, well, that doesn't really make a difference if you have only five or six athletes put on the good big show, which is exactly why you see deadlift suits and straps at World's Strongest Man. They've got all freaking day to do one event. And the guys need a ton of rest, so let them wear suits, let them wear straps, let them take their time and get down to the bar, get their suit right, strapped in, and then go. But if you're running a show where there's 30, 60, 250 athletes, you cannot take the chance on having the athletes spend the extra time putting their suit on and getting everything perfect. Not every single athlete. There are too many things that can go wrong from a time frame point of view. I can tell you at Masters Worlds this year, uh, they were very straight with us that if we were having any issues with our straps when we were strapping in for the car deadlift, there was no guarantee that the head referee would not just go ahead and start the timer whenever they were ready, even if we were not. So if we were fumbling around with our straps, too bad. The clock starts rolling. That became an issue with me because I went to get strapped in and I had my figure eight straps on. And when I bent down, I also had my IV in my arm so I could run my fluids and my chemo and, and things like that. So I went and put my straps on and my strap got hooked on my IV line in my arm. Uh, so I am trying to get that down over the top of that. My other hand is locked in. This hand is twisted and turning. I'm mentally insane as well. Um, took a big chunk of my IV out uh, for a deadlift, but it was my responsibility. No one else's responsibility. And that's the thing. They don't want any of the athletes dragging things out any longer than it has to. So why do strong men get to wear straps? Well, honestly, I think our body needs it. I really think that we need it. One of the most common injuries or a very common, in yeah, the most common injury and strongman has got to be the torn bicep. If we're doing squats, and now a lot more athletes are doing SS yoke bar squats where the hands are in front or with a cambered bar, but if you're doing a ton of squats, you're putting a lot of pressure on that shoulder, on that bicep, on that wrist, the elbow. Um, you're doing log, log clean and press, axle clean and press, dumbbell clean and press, loading atlas stones, tire flip, harness pull, arm over arm, uh, farmer's frame, Husafel stone, uh, the stress that you're putting on that bicep, just that constant little amount of stress, that constant little tendonitis that builds up. And the next thing you know, that bicep and all the muscles around it don't quite stretch like they should. And then snap. 
We're not just doing squats and bench press and deadlift and all of the accessories that kind of feed into making those three lifts successful. And then we have to pull the deadlift at the end of a meet. It's not just that. We're doing a lot of events that are extremely bicep heavy. And if you are a contest promoter or an organization owner, you have to remember that all of the athletes are your money ticket. And if your money tickets keep getting injured, pretty soon you run out of money tickets. You run out of money. You really, honest to goodness, want all of your athletes to get and stay as healthy as possible. So they continue to make you look good and well, you make more money. And if that comes down to allowing your athletes to wear straps to make it a little bit safer, allowing them to wear some kind of compression cuff, a compression sleeve, put some Velcro on the elbow, whatever it might take, well, then you let them do it to protect your money ticket. Now, do the straps really help that much on a strong man deadlift? abso freaking lutely I've talked to several people that say that they can pull or they will get the same amount out of wearing a pair of straps that they will a deadlift suit. Now that's comparing, that's comparing a strongman deadlift with straps and then a powerlifting deadlift with suit and no straps, not suit and straps. Uh, I've talked to several people that get very similar results out of wearing the suit than they will while wearing the straps. If you look at a lot of strongmen, most strongmen will pull double over, make the arms longer, uh, which changes up the pattern, the movement pattern of the deadlift uh, as it's going. It changes up the upper body's um, tightness. You're more around, you see a lot more athletes stalling at the knee because they're pulling double overhand. You still have to create that speed. With strongman, you may be using an axle, you may be using an extra long bar. You have to create that point of impact off the ground, lots of explosive speed. And if you're not wearing straps, you honest to goodness cannot create near as much speed off the floor as you can if you are wearing straps. They really do help that much. So which straps are my favorite? Did not want to answer this for several reasons. Um, I've got several sponsors, which means if I put another sponsor's product over here on the screen somewhere, uh, then I can't advertise or post this video anywhere, and it's about to piss people off. So I can't really... You know what? I can't. Um, several years ago, Dave Tate told me, owner of EliteFDS.com, uh, told me to be absolutely 100% me. People trust me because I'm honest. No matter what, no matter what the product is, if I like it, I say that I like it. If I don't like it, I say that I don't like it. No matter what the product, no matter what the affiliation, people believe me because they know they can trust me. And that was one of the reasons why Elite FTS tries to always stand behind me. Because I am a name, a voice, a face, a YouTube screen thingy that you know that you can trust. Let me get some straps and I'll show you. All right, car deadlift, side handle, um, anything that might slip, something that, you know, if I have to get down full range of motion, all the way down on the bar, full pull. Uh, man, these straps from Elite FDS are absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't know if, what you can see here. They do, you know, they're normal width, I think anyway. Uh, absolutely ridiculous strong. Two or three ply here of double, triple edge, platinum, cotton. I don't know. But there's this little three lines of rubber stuff right here. So when you get this on, you get it tight, and you wrap it around the bar, and it wraps back around on itself, that rubber sticks to the bar and it sticks to itself. It does not slip. If you've ever worn, let's say the little blue straps that you see a lot of athletes wear uh, in strongman, they tend to get a couple of reps and they have to take them off. And then you see them, you know, resetting everything up on the axle or on the barbell because they've slipped a little bit. These do not slip. They stick, buddy. This rubber absolutely sticks to rubber and I'm glad that didn't just slip and made me look like a fool. These are absolutely awesome. Now if I'm doing something from 18 inches, 21 inches from the knee, a little bit below, something like that, something I'm not just going to drop uh, or have to get all the way down to the floor, 
I do love my Cerberus Strength figure eight straps. Now these figure eight straps are, these are the shor uh, shorter ones. It says 31 inch. I don't know what that is. Uh, I slide these on. It goes around the bar and back on my wrist. Um, so it's gonna tug and pull like that. It gives me an extra half inch or so. I don't have to squeeze it all. You can see where that's pulling on my hand. Uh, it's pulling here. I don't have to squeeze. Um, it'll shift to the side. It'll shift this way. I don't have to grip. My hand can pretty much be open. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve using these the first time that you think you can drop the bar with these on, you're bound to lose a shoulder, or you think you might. Uh, these are absolutely ridiculously strong. I don't like them for full pulls. Anything partial, these things are amazing. But what about doing an axle with them? Well, this is an issue. You get these small, tight ones that feel good on a barbell thickness that won't go around an axle. But if you love gear like I do, you just buy two pair. You get a second set that's extra large, extra long, and now you put these on, and these give you enough space to go around a two inch or bigger axle. So what do you see me using quite often on full range of motion deadlifts when you watch my Sunday training? I got a pair of EliteFTS.com leather straps, cut them, and made them into a pair of weightlifting straps. Uh, just made it into a full length. And you just fold it over, tape the ends. Uh, there's nothing magical about it. The leather is extremely pliable um, and it sticks to itself. All it does is roll over the bar once and go back in my hand. Uh, so I can pull double over. I can pull over under if I want to, but I can pull double over. When I get to the top and I'm on my way down and I get that bar down below my knees and I want to let go, I can just let go and it falls. They're extremely easy to get on. I just get under there and it just wraps under once and I'm ready to go. They're extremely easy just to let go of the bar. They're extremely easy off. The soft leather has a no break in period time. It's rocking, ready to go. All I had to do is take a razor blade and cut these uh, and some athletic tape, tape the ends. It's the best thing I've ever used. But of course, you know me, I've got to have my own everything. Whenever I do snatches um, or clean pulls, these suckers right here are what I use. What are the, what company are these? I don't even know. Uh, if you live in Cyprus or possibly Greece or anywhere in the Mediterranean, you have roller blind windows. Um, you, you pull a little rope like that and the blinds go up outside your windows. These are the, these are the roller blind material. Just cut some section off. These suckers are thin, they don't rip. Uh, I cut it to the length that I needed it. A little piece of tape right here, sewed up the ends uh, so it went together. It makes it easy for me to get locked in for a snatch. A little bit longer, a little bit thinner. Uh, sticks to itself really, really well. It gives me the flexibility that I need. Don't like them for deadlifts. Love them for snatch. If you're a gear whore, this is perfect. So which pair of straps do you need for strongmen? Well, straps are pretty much like shoes. You have no idea what you're gonna expect when you get there on game day, so my suggestion is buy at least one pair of everything. Of course, you also need a backup pair. Then you gotta try out some new ones every month as well. Heck, you're in the wrong sport if you don't like tons of gear. Get everything you possibly can. Thanks guys, hope this helps.